Sorry, moms. One hospital in Pennsylvania say, hold your water. They're no longer delivering babies, blaming cutbacks on the president's new health care law, which, by the way, is at a country near us. With, uh, will other hospitals be doing the same? Let's ask Congressman Mike Burgess, who represents the state of Texas, also a former OBGYN. Congressman, you can speak from both angles, from the legislative point of view and from the doctor's point of view. Why isn't it cost effective now to deliver babies? Well, this, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure of that particular situation, but what I do know is uh, remember last summer at the convention when President Obama and the Democrats were saying we're going to pay for these expanded benefits by, by reducing provider reimbursement. Well, now that is coming home to roost. You, you cut providers and eventually you're going to affect the beneficiaries. And Medicare and Medicaid have been chronically underfunded for years. It is fixing to get worse because of the way they pay for the Affordable Care Act. And uh, this is probably the, not the first such story you'll hear. And, and why, why is it? Is it is something where they feel as though moms don't need the help in the hospitals? Are they trying to force you to, to go to a baby center, deliver from home? Where's this heading? Well, I, I don't, you know, I think that's a little strong, but I, I will tell you one of the big missing pieces in the Affordable Care Act, if you're going to take the American health care system and just shake it up from top to bottom, why wouldn't you tackle the number one issue that affects OB doctors all over this country, and that's liability reform? I mean, a couple of years ago, a study out of Pennsylvania showed that uh, one out of three residents who train in OB in Pennsylvania don't stay there. I mean, those are their doctors of tomorrow. They are, they're training them in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, but they can't stay because of the problems in the liability climate. Well, the president and uh, congressional Democrats back in 2009, 2010 had an opportunity to fix this, and they walked away from it. In Texas, you have addressed that, though, right? That's correct. Uh, caps on medical liability about 10 years ago, and, and the result is, uh, yeah, we have a lot of Pennsylvania doctors working in Texas. Right, and a lot of California doctors, too. Uh, Congressman, what is your greatest fear, since you can look at it from the doctor's level, as Obamacare comes to fruition and the bill that no red goes into because is now law? You know, right now, of course, we're all, we're all focused on fiscal matters, and, and it is the cost of, of this thing going forward. Now, within nine months' time, or actually now less than nine months' time, patients are supposed to be able to go online and register for their subsidies in either state or federal exchanges. There is no way in the world that this is going to be able to be working by October 1st. The problem was the Obama administration hid the ball during the election. Uh, they wouldn't uh, tell the states what they were going to be responsible for. As a result, governors did not want to sign up for this thing in early November, and as a consequence, now the that task has shifted to the federal government, and there's no way in the world up to that task. And the Supreme Court said states do not have to, and a lot of them are saying, like Texas, uh, thanks but no thanks. Uh, Congress that, that's absolutely correct. Right. Congressman Mike Bird, it's always great having you on. Thanks so much. Thank you, Frank.